Hi, my name is Itali and in this video I'll be drawing a Lily River Drake, which is a dragon species I just made up just to draw this picture. Just a quick warning, this video has been sped up, so it does contain fast moving and flashing images. For the characters and most of the background, I actually use the bamboo brush for my painting along with my handy dandy smudge tool using the felt brush but there are also several custom brushes used in the background especially as usual my wood texture brush that I'd made um, you can find instructions on how to make your own brushes in my how I use art flow videos uh, but yes yeah, mostly I use the bamboo brush and the smudge tool for this one This painting did take me five hours in total, including the sketch, background and character. I did do it in two large sittings, one near the start of the year and the second sitting only recently, which is why you finally get to see it finished. If you're a Patreon member, you would have seen this picture in my work in progress uploads uh, that I uploaded earlier in the year. And if you would like to see work in, work in progress pictures or uh, any other pictures I do, not all of them are shared on my social medias. Some of them are saved for my patrons. You also get early access to videos like these. Or, or if you just feel like supporting me, feel free to join my Patreon. So I've decided in my videos that I'll share more about the thought process behind the pictures rather than just how I've drawn them. As I do have several how I use Artflow videos that do specify exactly how I create my pictures and you can also just like turn the sound off and just watch if you want to know how I'm drawing them. Uh, so for this particular one I decided to create this little Drake family and they were supposed to be, I was supposed to do this picture in spring so it's supposed to be like new life and new year and that kind of thing and the idea behind it is the adults which is the mother here is the pink dragon um, when they're adults they're pink or white or sort of like the color of water lily flowers and as when they're little babies or little chicks or hatchlings they actually start off green um, or sort of limey yellowy colors to better blend in with vegetation around the edge of the water so you can see here there's a couple of little chicks and uh, one of them already has a couple of blushes of pink on them which is the older of the two and more mature of the two and then we've got a, a slightly younger one at the front which is probably just being a little bit silly he's he's probably splashing around or telling a silly joke or something and he's grabbed the attention of the mother which is why she's turned to look at him so that was the idea behind the this picture I uh, just wanted to have like a cute mother and her little chicks sort of swimming through a river with some some um, willows hanging over them. So yeah, I guess the 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 aquatic drake. So that I call them, you know, dragon subspecies drakes, and uh, they're part of the water drake family. And these particular ones are called lily drakes because of the bright colors that resemble the color of lilies and that their fins kind of look like and feel like the textures of lily flowers uh, so that's why I decided to call them lily water drakes which is an incredibly creative name but um, I'm not terribly great at naming things so I thought this was an okay name and I really like the design of these drakes so they don't have any uh, any wings as you can see that's why they're drakes uh, they do have slightly long tails with big fins on the end or big sort of like a paddle tail which you can't really see on the mother dragon here but you can see on the younger chick that's in front of her as he does have his tail raised out of the water so you can kind of see and when he comes back on the screen you can see that's the kind of shape their tail fin has and they use that to propel themselves through the water kind of like a crocodile would so they kind of just like relaxingly move through the water sort of slowly conserving energy um, just sort of sailing down the river and looking for food 
Uh, I guess I'm not really sure what kind of diet they have. I feel like maybe they're omnivores, a bit of opportunity sort of creatures where perhaps they can eat some some water vegetation around the edge of the rivers but wouldn't say no to a passing fish but I don't think they're like big predator type things like I don't think they really stalk their prey or anything they just kind of take what's there what's available rather than uh, laying in wait for hours on end for one big game they'll just like take little fish here and there and um, maybe pull up some some bulbs out of the bank or something and munch on them they're sort of um, kind of less aggressive dragons or drakes I did actually have a world of creatures I was slowly populating which I could put this into but it was all sort of centered around this sort of cat dog type creature called a thornhound which I made up I don't know like 15 or 20 years ago a long time ago and I thought they were really cool and I was like oh everyone you should all make your own characters of this and this is how you make them you know one of those things where I put a description on, on what they can and can't have and people could make their own character and that kind of thing and then any creature I made after that point in time was part of that world part of the Thornhounds world so I do have quite a lot of different creatures I made up uh, I'm not actually sure if this would suit that environment it's supposed to be quite a harsh planet uh, where things are very difficult there's not really many areas where the food is abundant or it's easy living so most of the creatures there are quite hardy so I feel like this kind of creature wouldn't really suit the world terribly terribly but I also feel like the world I'd made for those creatures is kind of a bit childish now and maybe I just want to make a brand new world to populate anyway it's one of the things I really enjoy doing I really enjoy making creatures up and and putting them in a world and thinking about what kind of habitat they'd live in and what other creatures would live around them and you know if they're carnivores or herbivores and what kind of temperament they'd have and their life cycle and what their eggs or you know that kind of thing would look like I like concepting creatures it's my favorite thing to do so I guess that's why I'd made my whole like a world I could populate so maybe I'll make a new one and pop some of my older creatures in there and maybe add this one in and I could start by making a river area and just start populating it with creatures around the river it's just an idea but it's just something that might be fun to do um, and if people had ideas they they'd like to see in the river environment or something they could mention it in the comments below and maybe I'll give a water creature or something that would live around a river a, a bit of a go I don't want to spend too long on the pictures so this is a five hour painting and it's probably as long as I'd want to spend on a concept idea um, a lot of my concept ideas are usually just sketches and they never actually get to see the light of day they're just a sketch and that's it so it was kind of fun to flesh out this one a bit more and I have actually found that I've become considerably better at my color choices and shading since the start of the year um, as I'm now doing a lot more art so I work a lot more with the awesome games now I actually work with them three days a week so essentially I'm drawing nearly all the time now which has improved my ability to paint I think I think I've gotten better so it was kind of nice to return to this picture and find out that uh, I could actually make it look quite pretty and I'm quite proud of how this came out especially in the mother Drake I think she looks really sweet and I really like how the colors of her pop the background is a little bit lazy as you can see here I'm just kind of duplicating my existing plant layers because I couldn't be bothered repainting them I could have spent a bit more time on this if I'd spent a couple more hours on the background I could have made it look really great but I didn't really feel like it <laughs> I just wanted to do the pretty dragons so the background's kind of a bit rushed and a bit lazy but I still think it looks okay and the overall picture looks pretty good by the end of it 
So I'm now colouring the little chicks and I've decided they are called chicks. Little little lily water drink chicks. Um, and I do have personalities for both of these. This one is the older or more mature one. Even though it appears smaller than her brother at the front, um, she is a more mature at least. And I don't know, I think maybe they start getting pink colours as they they get older or more mature. I haven't really decided. But in any case, she has pink on her. Um, so that signifies her as a more mature dragon and she likes to act like it too. So she's kind of got this weird expression. She's sort of like looking across at her brother being like, oh yes, of course he's being funny again. Look at him. He thinks he's so funny. I'm the smarter, more mature one here. And she's just sort of gliding alongside her mother, sort of imitating what her mother's doing because she thinks that she's already like a cool adult because she's got pink on her and he doesn't. So that's her sort of um, her personality at the moment at least as a little little chick and um, her brother's kind of like the opposite so he's the one at the front here um, he's a little bit of a darker colour uh, than her and he does have a tiny bit of pink but not as much as she does. They wouldn't be much different in age. They, they're probably even from the same clutch of hatchlings since their size isn't very different, but maybe she's just faster maturing than he is. Uh, he definitely acts more immature than she does. So he's either like telling a, a stupid joke to his mother or maybe he's just splashed her or something like that. He's doing something to grab her attention and he thinks it's really funny and he's having a good laugh about it. And her mother, the mother's kind of just humoring him. So she's sort of like looking at him and going, ah, yes, dear, that's lovely. Um, but, you know, he's, so he's kind of got what he wanted because he wanted her, the attention. But his sister doesn't really care because she just sees it as him proving himself not as mature as her and she likes to be seen as the mature chick so she's happy and he's happy and the mother's happy everybody's just the happy cute little family don't ask where the father is I didn't make that up so we're not going to question where the father Drake is at this stage uh, we've just got a happy mum and brother and sister just taking a little stroll down the river between the willow branches I did have a bit of fun adding the reflections to the water. It, it's actually a really lazy way to do reflections, but I basically just teardrop the colors from the dragons themselves and then just quickly do strokes around them to give the impression of reflected, sort of the reflection um, off the dragon onto the water. The water would be moving anyway for two reasons. One is because they're swimming through it, and two, because this is a river. So it is, a, it is a moving body of water. So uh, I could sort of cheat the reflections by just putting lines all over it. Um, and yeah, it was kind of fun and easy. I like mixing colors, so I enjoy mixing the colors together. Now I do fiddle around with adding some light coming from a particular direction, but I play with it for quite some time. And then in the end, I kind of just decide I don't like it and I'm happy with how the color of the dragon looks without adding this extra layer so you will actually see me play around with it and then I kind of just delete it because I didn't like it. So instead I go for a shadow layer just at the back of the dragon um, as I did want to still have a bit more contrast than what I'd had and I add a bit more light around uh, in between the willow branches and off in the background and add some more to the bottom right of the picture as well as some like little dots of light sort of like where light is sort of shifting through the trees and and glancing off the water. And then it's done, and here it is, and I'm really happy of how it came out. I think it looks really cute. Um, so yeah, little little lily water drakes. 
Well, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!